the new and highly requested Porsche 911 GT3 RS is finally here in Forza Horizon 5. Oh, crap. This is the old one, isn't it? Never mind. Easy mistake to make. And it's not just me either. It would seem that the developers also don't know the difference between this new one and the old one. They put a picture of the old one on the infotainment screen inside this new one. The new and highly requested Porsche 911 GT3 RS is finally here in Forza Horizon 5. As usual with new vehicles here in Forza Horizon 5, to unlock this new beat I mean Porsche, all you have to do is complete 20 points in this week's festival playlist, which is available until next Thursday at the time of recording, which I've done by doing the trial, uh, the event lab, one of the seasonal championships, and the two monthly rivals, which will help towards unlocking all of the future beat I mean Porsches in autumn, winter, and spring. Over in the Horizon Backstage Pass, let's see what they've added to the shop. It would appear the Ford GT and the Koenigsegg CCX um, won the vote last time around. And if we head over to Backstage Voting, we can either go for a Huracan STO and Gallardo Spider, or an AMG GT Black Series and 650S. That is quite a difficult decision because I like all four of these, but... Gallardo is Gallardo, we've got to do it. Although it looks almost exactly the same as the old one, this latest GT3 RS produces 518 brake horsepower, which is an unbelievable four more than that 2019 car, and only 15 more than the standard GT3. The new car also weighs 1,450 kilos, which isn't a lot, but to me sounds too heavy for a stripped out track variant of a car, to be honest. Especially as that is 15 kilos more than the GT3 and 20 kilos more than the old 2019 GT3 RS. It does have far more advanced aerodynamics than either of those, which to be fair does differentiate this car visually from the older GT3s and GT3 RSs, although these also of course create some drag. As we discovered when we drag raced, the new GT3 RS against a selection of similar Porsches. Well, this has not gone well. Um, so, the new car is slower than everything. I think we should ignore this. After this unfortunate result, we decided to race the selection of cars at the Horizon Mexico circuit, which had a rather unexpected result. Oh yeah, mine's the highest PR. I must prove that the old one is better. Wait, there's an AI stand behind us. Oh. Wait, what? How is yours la launched? What the hell? I was need. Oh, for f**k's sake. Yeah, we may have to redo this, Rose. No, we don't. As soon as I get into a good position, it's everyone wants to restart. I'm just I don't think true. I don't think Super Tree does either. GT3 is... Oh. Well, actually, no, we could just conclude that the GT3 is the fastest one in this race, and then... Uh, there's still a few laps to go. Never mind, I'll make my way back up. Okay, so you might win because this AI is an idiot. So, in conclusion, if you want a GT3 Porsche, this yeah, this, this this race is just, just get a normal in, GT3. This, Don't bother with the this RS. Race is in, it's just the AI piss. So after this disaster for the GT3 RS being beaten by the standard GT3, we reran this chaotic event of much crashing and many bumps, and ended up with effectively the same result, only with a race car slightly expectedly winning the race. So, there are a number of manufacturer colours available with and without the GT3 RS graphic. What you may also notice though is, if we switch through them, the red and the white are the same, but if we get to black, it has a black interior. You can also have it with a white interior, a yellow interior if you go with the yellow paint, There's another white interior with the silver and the sort of grey colours, and the orange and green with orange, green and blue. So not only is there a selection of lovely colours with and without a graphic, but there are interior colour options. The great thing with this though is 
If, for example, we select the yellow with the yellow seats and the yellow GT3 RS graphic, and then go back into paint again, if we then go and paint it another custom color of our choice, the interior stays and the graphic stays. So it means you can choose your interior color and then go and paint it a different color. And it means you can also retain your GT3 RS graphic on the side, which is very cool. It would be great to see that on more cars, really. So we could go for a lovely pale blue against um, the yellow interior. I think, though, I have a better idea for mine. I'm going to start with it plain white and then bear with me a second. There we go. Perfect. Over in the upgrade shop, you would be pretty unsurprised to see there's no aero and appearance options because it kind of already has all of the aero. There are those several engine swaps, most of which are flat sixes like these first couple of engines and this one here. But there is also a racing V12 and a 4.6 litre V8 hybrid from a 918 and then one more flat six. There is, of course, also an all wheel drive conversion. And if you want, you can twin turbo it. Then you have all of your usual uh, tires, uh, tire width options and track width options. If you want to bring your wheels out a little bit and fill your wheel arches. Then, of course, over in drivetrain, we can change transmission, the driveline and the differential. And over in platform handling, we can do springs and dampers and weight reduction. But that's that's all we have there. And there are a limited number of engine upgrade options. With all of these fitted to the standard engine, as you can see, power is up to 785 horsepower. And that, along with the slight track width adjustment, has put us well into S2 class. At this point, we were about to go and search for an S1 class tune for the GT3 RS, but decided that as we hate racing in S1 class, we should see if it's possible to downgrade the new RS to A class with an all wheel drive conversion, drag tires, and slightly different other upgrades on our three vehicles, we managed to get it to the top of A class and then headed into some racing. We kind of already knew though that this wasn't going to be terribly competitive and yeah, unsurprisingly, it, it wasn't. And it had rather interesting handling characteristics. Having said that though, in at least one race, another driver in the same GT3 RS did win. Although I'm not sure if that just says more about the other competition than anything else. Anyway, after one full set of races, we decided that it wasn't much fun driving with this tune. So we quit out, reverted the cars to stock and went for a bit of a cruise in Sierra Nueva, which fairly quickly descended into absolute chaos and racing a stock GT3 RS around the tiny bike circuit located on the expansion, as you shall now see. We're having a Porsche battle. Porsche oh, Tokay. Okay. Yes. Are we? Might as well. Oh, we're trying to go fast. I thought we were just driving. I was well, driving I'm, slowly. I'm half driving fast and then slow and then fast. Right. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh Supertree's dead. I hit a Bronco and then bounced into a super tree. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's the down there, everyone's. Oh, no, we didn't fall down there. We're not that incompetent. Oh, oh, ah! oh crap. <laughs> this, you've missed oh, oh, the best bit no, of the no. Why is Jerry upside down? Because my rear wing is a trampoline. He's the 911 rally. There's got to be rally something yeah. here, right? Oh, yeah, no. it's a dirt road trail. How's it go? I don't know. Probably just to this road. They're not that great, I see, right? But... Oh, we should do this the, this track. Oh, yes, what the track? circuit. My interpretation is of oh, the not new one. Oh, okay, so we to one. Go. Oh my god. 
It's a bit fast for this track. <laughs> I spin. The Motor G3 RS is winning the GT3 RS race. <laughs> <laughs> Interpretations are allowed. <laughs> Why is it just the front go up so much? That's why you left off. The artichoke smashed 197. The artichoke? Smashed artichokes. <laughs> it's the new craze. Oh no! Smashed That's artichoke. That's not the will! Artichoke. Oh, I've almost overtaken! It's very... Yeah! Oh, oh, well, oh no, where have I gone? I landed on top of Jerry. He's One of my friends are calling me, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Bye. How many laps? I don't know. That's perfect. Nope. <laughs> Hello, motorbikes. What the hell? This is actually fun. I've got yeah, a fine time more. skill thing. Down the inside. Oh, fast travel. I Somehow I still have a five time skill thing. Kangaroo. I think I won. <laughs> I'm overtaking everyone. Oh, I'm winning. I didn't. I, I didn't every overtake. Jeffy. Oh no. Oh. And that is going to do it for a first look at the GT3 RS here on Forza Horizon 5. From standard, it drives really nicely, although in a straight line it is slower than most other 911s, and around a circuit it's not as much faster as we might have expected. In fact, it seemed to be slower, although to be fair, it wasn't really a terribly fair comparison with all of the crashing and chaos going on. The livery options are incredible though, it's great to see that you can do it with and without the GT3 RS logos on the side, and with different interior colours, and that depending on which of these you choose, they then remain if you go and paint it in your own colours. I know games like Motorfest have got custom interiors and things like that, but this is definitely a move in the right direction for Horizon, and I hope they do similar things with future additions. There isn't much in the way of upgrades and further customization though for this car, but that is kind of to be expected with a vehicle that has quite so much aero. Downgraded to A-Class rather unsurprisingly, it was pretty terrible, or at least it wasn't terribly fun to drive. Potentially in S1-Class it would be better, but that would mean doing S1-Class. The most fun we actually had with this thing was just cruising around Sierra Nueva, and then doing that chaotic dirt race um, at the end there. As ever though, do let me know your thoughts on this brand new addition to Forza Horizon, but for today's video that is going to be all, so thank you very much for watching, and I will be back with the next one very soon.